Yo, what's up, my man? I'm looking for a keto king. Dylan! What's up, buddy? My man, what's up? Son of a bitch. Good to see you again, brother. See you, brother. How Welcome are you? to Austin, man. guys what a beautiful beautiful day guys so I know it has been so long since I picked up this camera and started recording I think it's been like almost two weeks guys and I needed a break I needed a break from YouTube I needed a break from the cutting diet and just enjoy life I mean look at today guys the Sun is shining it's a beautiful day here in Austin Texas I woke up today you woke up today so you know what that means we're winning guys so tell your stress tell your problems that they cannot phase you because you're already winning so where have i been what have i been doing what have i been eating how's the cut am i bulking yada 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 i get so many questions i just need to just enjoy life like i said i had a really good friend of mine bring his family over from the uk to come visit me here in texas so we went everywhere guys if you guys follow me on snapchat on instagram make sure you are following me because you could have kept up we went everywhere. Like I gave them a proper, proper Texas tour. They absolutely love it. They're actually thinking about living here. Uh, so yeah, we had a really good time. And I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I ate carbs. I drank beer. I ate a donut from Krispy Kreme. Can you believe that I don't? I, I don't even remember the last time I ate a donut. Uh, let alone one from Krispy Kreme. I mean, we just had a good time, guys, and was I somewhat a little bit self-conscious about how I was gonna look? I was, but I look fine, guys, and, and most of it's just water, so not worried about it, I'll be fine. As far as training, me and Mark did hit the gym every single day. Yes, guys, normally I just work out five days a week, uh, but we hit it every single day. He had a really good time, we had a blast, but, since this is the official day that I do come back to YouTube, we gotta go pick up a friend from the airport. So enough talking, let's go get him. Yo, oh, what's up guys? We are driving, we're in Austin. Finally got our rental car, we are going to eat because I'm freaking hungry. Jason's probably not hungry, but I'm always hungry. Just Jason just wants to train. We already talked. Yeah, he wants to get in the gym and train. I know. I'm, 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 I'm setting a bad example for Jason. Uh, but we're gonna go eat, guys. We're heading to Terry Black's Barbecue. It's a phenomenal place here in Austin. Really, really, really good barbecue. Uh, we're gonna do that, chill for a little bit, and then go train later. So it should be fun. You excited to be here? Heck yeah, I'm excited to be here, man. It's bigger in Texas, and I'm trying to make gains. Bro. That's right. Oh, that's right, man. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you when we get there, guys. So we just got our food, like I said, here at Terry Black's. And you know we had to go with the beef rib. Look at that. It's huge, bro. Isn't that epic? Absolutely awesome. Jason got one. We also got some sausage, green beans, cheese, and avocado. You ready to dig in, brother? Yeah. Let's bon dig in. Bon appetit. Enough talking. Let's go. Wish me luck. All right, guys, so we just got uh, Jason to check into the Alop Hotel. We're gonna wait till he passes because it's a little bit loud. Checked in, heading back up to San Marcos right now, and we're gonna get a proper gym session in, so it should be fun. Get ready for the pump in three, two, one.
So that's it, man. That was the workout. I hope you guys did enjoy that. I'm so excited to have you in my town, brother. Yeah. Like, we've, we've talked about this. We've talked about you coming to Austin, coming to San Marcos, getting a workout in, and we finally made it happen. And honestly, it's because of you guys. Like, yes. You guys have always like just loved the way you and I collaborate. I mean, just we comes hit natural. it off. Yeah, it just yeah. comes natural, man. And it, it's, it's so crazy because you meet so many YouTubers in this game, and sometimes it's just not natural. Like, it's just What you see is not always what you get in yeah, real life. Yeah, it's not. And me and Jason <laughs> literally like just hit it off like so well. Yeah. And, um, you know, who knows? Maybe Jason may move to Texas one You day. never know, baby. <laughs> That'd be I, crazy. I do love it here so far, man. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. city. Yeah. People Absolutely. seem to be awesome. I love your gym spot here, yeah. man. Yeah, I love it, dude. This They're is definitely gym. not kicking you out of here for filming, bro. Hell no. They actually, they encourage us to film. Like, yeah. they love it. They it's a cool it. feel. It's a cool vibe, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, this is Jason's first day here. He's actually starting a series. You're going to bulk up. Yeah, so I'm trying to bulk up, man. Yeah, it's Currently crazy. weigh 145 pounds. Trying 145 to... pounds, guys. He, if you were to see him right now, he looks about 180. Yeah, so that's a, a testament to how the scale is a liar. It doesn't Absolutely. tell the truth, man. At all, I, I, you know, you say I weigh 180, I say I weigh 145. <laughs> I'll let you believe I weigh yeah. 180. <laughs> yeah, you look like it, brother. So don't obsess over the scale. But yeah, I'm going to try and really focus on putting on more muscle. Uh, the ketogenic diet, like I've said before, is by far the best cutting diet on the face of the earth. Oh, absolutely. Being able to lose weight and have energy, there's no other diet that can yeah. compare to that. But for me, the appetite suppressive effects with the stresses of being yeah. a father, all that other stuff. Oh, God. Tell I, me about it. I'm going through it right now. I was catching myself <laughs> under eat. Yeah. And that's not good for building muscle. Yeah. If you want to build muscle, man, you got to eat. So I'm going to really focus on doing that. Yes, and see where please it goes. tell my subscribers that again. I get that asked all the time. How yeah. do I build muscle on the keto diet? You eat. And whether it's keto, whether if it's, 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 it's your back rows, vegan, whatever it is, you have to eat you gotta, to grow. You got to like, fuel your body. How man. do you think you're going to grow muscle and, and not eat? Like, it's just it's impossible, guys. Yeah, like, the more, the more, you know what happens to a rat when they starve it? It sits in the corner of a cage and it doesn't move a muscle. Yeah. So it can conserve energy a lot of you out there if you're starving yourself you're sitting in that cage over in the corner by yeah. yourself man and Don't it's not a good it's not a good existence yeah. and that's what I was doing I noticed my energy was going down yeah. so I picked up my appetite yeah. uh, the more you eat the more you can work out the yeah. more intense your workout over over everything you get stronger you get more energy the more you, you're, you're yeah. more active you're doing cardio you're swimming you're just you're just active overall active yeah. you're feeding yourself and and, and you're just fueling your body. Yeah, so you're and not don't, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to worry as about it. As long as you're eating the right types of foods, you're yeah. keeping your hormones under control, you're keeping insulin under control. Absolutely. That's, that's, so and now that we're talking about that, I want to I want to kind of just, this just popped in my head, I want to discuss this. So with keto, you know, there's so many different ways to do keto, and I want to get your opinion. Yeah. Um, there's a, you know, there's so many ways to do keto, but I, in my opinion, there's a right way and a wrong way. So when I say that, I mean like, I'm always on the go, guys. You know that. I'm always go, go, go. And unfortunately, most times I have to do fast food keto. Is it keto? Yes. But there's always a better way. It's better to cook your food, yeah. you know, eating a salmon, eating a steak from, from, from you, know, you know, grass fed, and then getting a triple cheeseburger from McDonald's, no buns, and you know, just, it, yeah. you know, it's, it's better to get the, the real keto foods than like fast food keto foods. So I want to get your point on that. Like, but it, it quality, right? Quality over, over just quality. Yes, but... I had Wendy's a few days ago yeah, after the gym. Yeah, yeah. I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not eating Wendy's every single day, but it was convenient. Yes, absolutely. And and it could have been worse. I could have been getting French fries, <laughs> but I didn't. I could have gotten a bun, yeah. but I didn't. Yeah. So why am I going to beat myself up over yeah. having Wendy's doing the best I can yeah. in this situation, absolutely. keeping it as keto as possible? I don't, I don't sweat it. Now the yeah. problem becomes when you get real. Every day, every day. And I day. think the yeah. big problem, I think the big problem is, you know, back when you and I first started keto, there was not all this fake carbs, fake sugar. Yeah. There wasn't, food. man. There was, was so many companies exist. have come around and it's just like keto friendly exist. everything. Hey, if you're out there doing the ketogenic diet, you're in it for a few weeks and you're stuffing keto cookies down your throat, I'm sorry, man, but that's not, that's not going to do the trick for you. Yeah. You got to stick to good, clean, whole food. Avocados, Have steak, your salmon, eggs, yeah. butter. Vegetables, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, stick to the basics. Yeah. And, and before you just jump into, you know, a lot of these keto junk food 
too good to be true type stuff. Yeah. Um, and the other big important thing with that is, you know, when you first start keto, you're getting over that sugar addiction. Yeah, yeah. And Not so, really, but, if you're doing but it, if you you're know, doing all yeah. that fake sugar stuff, yeah. saying, oh, there's no calories and it doesn't spike yeah. insulin but it's 300 times stronger than sugar, yeah. you're not gonna conquer that. So, that. The, so definitely, the, the main thing is for beginner ketoers, do it the right way at first. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, Keep and it then simple. once you become like a veteran, I guess, or whatever, you can, yeah, I'll start pro at keto, then you can start you introducing can, those things, yeah. because you'll have more, uh, you don't want, you'll have more self-control. But in the beginning, and you're doing all that, man, it's so hard. Your body thinks it's sugar. It yeah. might as well be. Totally. And when you actually have a cheat meal, which you're inevitably most likely going to have at some point or another, since you've never conquered that sugar thing in your brain, yeah. it's yeah. You're, you'll you'll end up in the gutter. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I remember being so clean when I first started keto for like t uh, two months. I totally conquered the sugar addiction in my brain and then I had a cheat meal and it was like I spent the entire night at the bar in college and I woke up wow. completely trashed. That's crazy. Like, and my brain said no. Yeah. Like yeah. we don't want any of that. So give yourself a chance to get to that point. Yeah, absolutely. And keep it simple. You know, eggs, yeah. bacon, sausage, ground beef. It'll salmon. be hard at first, guys, but I promise you, after the third or fourth day, it'll just become like just second nature to you guys. Yeah. It'll get easier. I know a lot of people struggle in the first beginning days because your body's like in shock. Like it's like, dude, where's the Coca-Cola? Where's the chips? Where's the fries? And don't come to us saying you're in a plateau if you're not working out. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of it. Yeah. I'm honest to God, I'm tired of people saying, hey, I've hit a plateau. They want to start starving themselves. I ask one simple question. Are you working out? Anything. Are you walking around the neighborhood? Are you playing tennis? Are you lifting weights? Are you playing basketball? Are you doing push-ups in your room? Are you doing anything? Yeah. If you're not, then you're not in a plateau. You're yeah, not guys. doing enough. You're not, you're not totally going yeah. after your full potential. Absolutely, guys. It's like I said, it's this not- This place will save It's not going to be easy, life. but you can do it. You totally. can absolutely do it. If, if it was easy, guys, everybody would be rocking around shredded. Yeah. Everybody would be walking around with their shirts off, yeah. just absolutely just looking like like Colin Van Moger or something, just looking yeah. shredded. Just, but it's not, but it's not. I mean, it, it takes work. It takes work. The diet, let me get this, let me get this across. The diet, I, I've worked with people, and I know you have too, that have gotten absolutely phenomenal results yes. Yes. just doing the ketogenic diet. Diet is absolutely everything. It yeah. is 100%. Yeah. But if you want to take yourself to the next level, you got to work out. Yes. You got to hit the gym. You got to start exploring that side of you. You got to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And you don't have to just jump in the gym and do the kind of stuff we're doing. Yeah. You can start off anywhere you want, like I said. Uh, but that's really the next frontier. Yeah, just so get active. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's CrossFit, doesn't matter if it's bodybuilding, doesn't matter if it's powerlifting, yeah. Olympic lifting, whatever. Just get active. Go walk in the park, walk your dogs, play with your kids, like yeah. whatever it is. Like just get you, outside you and mix, be active. You mix the ketogenic yeah. diet with regular physical activity, and there is nothing that can stop Nothing's you. Nothing's gonna stop you. Guarantee. Absolutely. Guarantee. Absolutely, guys. And you just feel so much better after you work out, man. Absolutely. I'm on all kinds of highs right now. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm so, in Texas, baby. That's right, brother. I'm, I'm excited. So we got an exciting few days ahead of us. Yeah, we got two more days left, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm excited to be back, guys. This is my first day back. I'm yeah, excited. I back missed on you. YouTube. I missed you, but hey, <laughs> hey, you know what, man? We Thank got you. real lives, and I think yeah. it's very difficult for all of you out there that are, aren't filming your entire life. It's it's, it's, tough. it's tough to to have as much. Him yeah. and I are both fathers, man, yeah. and it takes we a have long. a lot of responsibility. And there's a certain element of pressing that record button and filming your life yeah. that doesn't feel natural. I personally love talking to you guys through this camera, but to have it there throughout your entire life, reality can get a little bit yeah. distorted. Yeah. Um, and so it's always important to, to, in my opinion, to check back and find balance, yep. recenter yourself into yep. reality and with your family, and that's Absolutely. what you did. And hey, I mean, there's, there, I, want, I want to say one thing, and there's a lot of things that you guys don't see that happens behind this yeah. camera. I mean, when we're on here, yes, I love to be positive. You guys know that. Positive yeah. mindset, I preach positivity, I want to keep everything positive, but there's personal things that go on in our lives that we, you know, we just can't show, and it, sometimes it's hard to get that camera in front of your face when yeah. like you're sad, or there's something going on, there's something stressful going yep. on, it's hard to put that fake smile. I never want to put fake stuff on exactly. camera. Like, yeah. So if I'm really down, depressed, something's going on, something personal, some, a family member is sick, someone's in the hospital, I'm not going to pick up this camera and yeah. be fake. Exactly. Like, but, if you but, wanna, I, yeah, but I do understand that you have to be positive in all situations to look on the bright side and that nothing, there's not one thing in your life that's going to define you. So whatever struggle you're going through, whatever hardship you're going through, don't worry, it will pass yeah. and it's not going to define you and you will have another chance. Yeah, I, I commend you for just 
checking back. I do the same thing on my channel all the time. I have to, for the sake of my family, for, for Paxton, for Paxton and Carly yeah. to feel like they have a father and not. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, I'd rather check back, get myself in line, and be real with you, yeah. than come at you every day with some yeah. fake stuff and Absolutely. fake like fakey this and that yeah. for the YouTube and clickbait and all yeah. that stuff. Nah, not gonna happen. Not with me and you, man. Yeah. What'd and you the see, thing, the about the thing about I know why I vibe with you so much is that. I know you and I really, truly, truly care about our subscribers. Like, Amen. We really, truly want you guys to be better. Yeah. Whether, Amen. I don't even care if you do keto. Like, if you don't do keto, if you're not even into fitness, like, I just want you to have a positive mindset. Like, I want you to watch my videos and be like, you know what? I'm, I'm happy. Like, yeah. I, I, that just made my life a little bit better. That let's, much better. Let's and, get after it. And let's it. get it. And it, it just makes you in a positive mood. Like, that's my goal. Whether you do keto, whether you work out, whatever it is, like, I just want you guys to just have a little extra positive mindset when you stop watching my video. Amen. Yeah. That's the goal. I don't care if my videos get 400,000 views or nah, four views. If I get four views, I'm positive. I'm thinking I help four people out. Absolutely. I could care Absolutely. less. Absolutely. You help. You, you ain't never going to see. You made four people's lives that much better. Yeah. So that's why I like just kind of opening up my life for people. Yeah. You can see the good and the bad, the ups and the downs. Yeah. We're just regular Joes, guys. Just We're keep, just regular Joes. Just keeping Joe. it real, trying to get slow, bro. <laughs> That's right. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Like I said, I'm happy to be back. If you guys haven't subscribed to Jason's channel, what are you doing? You're living under a rock. Come on, man. Come on. Link in the description below. We have two more days of this, so uh, just be ready to see more content, guys. Yeah. That's gonna be it. My man. Peace.